Conservative loudmouth Bill O'Reilly shouted down more than his share of guests on his political talk show, The O'Reilly Factor. You're about to enter a no spin zone. So imagine the shock when the powerhouse pundit was embroiled in a sex harassment scandal with a co-worker in the fall of 2004. According to this producer, Andrea Macris, Bill O'Reilly called her repeatedly, engaged in phone sex, and requested that she engage in phone sex herself. So Macris slapped O'Reilly with a $60 million phone bill. Earlier today, we filed a lawsuit on behalf of our client against her boss, Bill O'Reilly, for sexual harassment. He said, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. I never did any of that stuff. But you don't have it on tape, right? Well, yes, she reportedly did. The court documents were filled with excerpts from Bill's dirty talk. Mr. O'Reilly said to the plaintiff, and just use your vibrator to blow off steam. What? You've got a vibrator, don't you? So much for the no spin zone. Bill filed an extortion suit, and the two hit the circuit with their versions of the story. Ready or not! We would not have filed an extortion lawsuit unless we were confident we would win it. I had said no to him, and 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 no to him about his saucy language. Here comes the... Yeah, I gotta say, this is the worst day of my life. But the worst of the whole ordeal? The transcripts of the alleged phone sex soliloquies made the rounds on the internet and became America's favorite new amateur porn. I want to take a shower with you right away. That would be the first thing I'd do. Yeah. And I would take that little loofah thing, kind of soap up your back, yeah, rub it all over you. I would start to massage your b and you have a really spectacular b Get in your nipples really hard. Oh, can you hold on? I've got another call. Hello? Oh, hey, Mom. So anyway. I would take the other hand with the falafel thing and I'd put it in your... Wait, he has a falafel in the shower? You dirty falafel-eating loofah scrubbing dirty girl. Hello? Hello? Body Bill did his best to stamp out the embarrassing episode quickly and quietly, settling with Macris for an undisclosed pile of cash. He actually brilliantly handled it and had the right PR people doing the right thing and he paid money to make it go away. Bill did his damage control, but he may never live down the fact that while the scandal was in high gear, he was hawking a new political book for kids. And the real humdinger is that not only did this guy write a book for children, but there's a chapter in it about sex. I mean, that is totally sweet. Exactly what are you preaching to our children? And now, a reading from the O'Reilly Factor for Kids. Chapter 5, Sex. <laughs> Many of you draw your values about sex from the OC, Sex in the City, or worse. Whatever you do in your sexual lives, don't give the details to friends. And guys, if you exploit a girl, it will come back to get you. That's called karma. Next week's word will be hypocrisy. But Bill, like cockroaches, and Cher, is bound to survive. O'Reilly, oh, Bill, totally get past it. Get, 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 get it. This brutal ordeal is now officially over, and I will never speak of it again. Oh. Set off a debate about sexual harassment, which is a problem the world over, no question. It happens all the time where powerful men see a good-looking stranger and, and they try to make a move. Factor producer Andrea Macris caught up with her here at Madison Square Garden. Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm with Fox News. How are you? How are you, Andrea? Good. It's a privilege to meet you. Thank I just you. want to ask you a quick question. Boy, are they randy out there at Indiana University. Last year, they had a porn sex scandal on campus. This year, another X-rated situation involving a freshman girl. The most controversial story of the evening, four 17-year-olds sneak into a bar, participate in a wet t-shirt contest, are photographed, and now they're suing everybody. And a professor of social work says women bear some responsibility for sexual harassment. Wow! You know, old guys like me go to bed early, so we often miss some good action. Last night on the David Letterman program, whacked out singer Courtney Love 
took off her shirt, took her clothes off in a bar, rubbed her thigh while mentoring her. It is on the minds of, of kids, oral sex is. Are you ready? Oral sex, oral sex parties, anal sex, teaching or encouraging oral sex. I thought it was sex with a toothbrush. 35 years ago, the biggest discipline problem in schools was uh, kids chewing gum on the bus, right? And now it's certainly something else in their mouths on the bus. What I always say to kids, don't take steroids because it shrinks your nads. That gets through to kids, that level. You know a lot about that subject. And I'm, <laughs> exactly. I am very I'm pleased that you're so candid in that area. Home runs. Isn't that where they show porn movies, Spike TV? Is I, I don't know, but I've converted worse. <laughs> and straight men are tuning in. Now, which that's not six? unexpected, by the way. That is not no. unexpected. No, I mean, it is something in the, in the straight man <clears throat> gene that's curious about lesbianism. Do you have a roommate, by the way? Um, no. So it's just you, the camera, and the computer. Straight I was invited women. on a gay cruise last week. So you can go if you if want to. If I become to, a lesbian, I could go or... No, actually, you can go if you want to. I'm not sure. That I could go want if I go. wanted. Absolutely. Yeah. I'd see it but as a challenge. You, to. <laughs> you know, oh, I'll go on the lesbian cruise. And I never had any sex conversations with my parents. I mean, I, I had one with my father that lasted about two minutes. If I'm a bisexual, and believe me, I would not have the energy. All right. <laughs> I want to go in and I want to marry a guy and a babe. Would you say that O'Reilly, as a bisexual? All right, again, hypothetical, please. But bisexuals are not looking to have uh, threesome relationships. Yes, I they am. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm quite happy with that arrangement. The majority of bisexuals are not interested in marrying the McGuire twins. Uh, they want to marry one well, they person. They wouldn't be bisexual of with the twins. They, they would well, be triads, yes. what they call triads. Yeah, okay. I know all these well, expressions. Yeah, you know more about that than I do. <laughs> if anybody can get married, then I want the McGuire twins and I to have a nice honeymoon in well, Provincetown. Would you be anybody... against? Would you be against me marrying the McGuire twins? Uh, <laughs> would you? Would, would, you would, would you? Yes I, or no? I don't think I'd want to fight you on that. All right. Do you have the names and addresses of these? I do there? not. I, I do not check this out. I bet if you talked just right, you could get some women to call you, though. <laughs> yes, <I know. laughs> so your commander in the foxhole was hitting on you. Was there sex in the foxhole? <laughs> you can tell us. Yeah, we won't yes, tell anybody, Miss B. You go ahead. Men, and I know men real well, um, being a manly man, um, are barbarians. They're just barbarians, okay? They see a good looking woman. It's. They're not respecting their intellect, they're... I guess you go out on dates with guys, right? Yeah. Okay, well, you know, it's L.A., yeah. come on. Okay. You could be going out with a duck. You know how they are out there. Did she have a boob job on Having a clue. You had your breasts enlarged. I have surgically enhanced to pump up the volume. How long have you had that? You, a long time? Probably about eight years. About I'm eight. Oh, so look you did, at you talking you about that. my breast implants on the Bill O'Reilly But you did that fairly... <laughs> I'm thinking about going back to uh, school and, and coming out there to Bloomington. Uh, you got the porn movies, you got you naked running around. I mean, what's going on? Yeah, I, I guess so. I, mean, I think it has a lot to do with academics, but I mean, there's a lot of other things that go along with college than school. And, I'll say. I mean, I guess it's just, <laughs> yeah. If you do come up with the stats about who these women are, we certainly would like to research it. It's like a new man. And now you're having sex all over the place. We are. Okay. And the kids are grown, and the kitchen table is great. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we will wrap things up with the most ridiculous item of the day, oral sex. Marge Ebert, Irvine, California. Mr. O'Reilly, you lack good manners, and you are rude. I am also sure you have some kind of sexual hang-up. Well, most Irish guys do, Marge. Come on, take pity on us. Well, if I took you down there, then I'd want to take a shower with you right away. That would be the first thing I'd do. Yeah. We'd check into the room. We'd order up room service. And uh, you'd definitely get two wines into you as quickly as I could get them into you. Maybe intravenously. You'd basically be in the shower, and then I would come in and I'd join you. And you'd have your back to me. And I would take that little loofah thing and kind of soap up your back, rub it all over you get you to relax, hot water, and um, 
you know, you'd feel the tension drain out of you and uh, still would be with your back to me. And then I would kind of put my arm. It's one of those mitts, those loofah mitts, you know. So I got my hands in it and I'd put it in around front, kind of rub your tummy a little bit with it. And then with it in my other hand, I'd, I would start to massage your boobs. Ba 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 